gross food was wasn't done because they were poor. The upper class were yeah, eating. That wasn't like a poor person it was thing. Fancy. It was gross fancy food. gross food. Um, they also liked to t- uh, t- <laughs> these young college students coming back from like learning, be coming in their carriages through town, and they would um, use pea shooters and shoot at pedestrians. That was a tradition when they came back to town. They had to nice. shoot people with pea shooters. I've it's seen like a baby BB gun. Yeah. It shoots like hard dried peas. Yeah, out out of straw like thing. They'd blow it out and hit them. Um, They're so kind. I know. Like, why are you doing and Christmas this? Christmas time. Yeah. Happy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's a pea in your face. A hard pea. They also would face. drink. Is it wassail? Wassail, which which is an alcoholic um, drink with punch with apples and cranberry and things. Kind of like what we're having a little bit. But so we have oranges. Wassail is warm. Yeah. And it has like um, cinnamon and stuff. So what they would do during this, when they made the wassail, they, um, the apple-growing regions would toast or salute the apple trees, and they would pour the wassail on the tree for good harvest. And to ward off evil spirits, they had to shoot the branches of the tree with pistols. Now, to me, I'm just thinking, I'm no farmer or yeah. a orchard person, but I feel like if you're shooting the trees and you're killing the branches, you won't have more apples. That's not going to be good harvest. And then instead of trimming the tree, they're... They're just shooting, shooting it off. The and that off. was supposed to ward off evil spirits, which I don't really understand. Okay. That. They really were big into science and demonstrations of science mm-hmm. back then. Did weird sh- well, look at Frankenstein. Yeah. Right, that kind of stuff was happening. So that was a big time around Christmas. They would go do stuff and, like, v- visit things and watch. And they put on these displays. And really, it was kind of a lot of fake stuff. They were trying to wow people with Galv- it. Galvanism. Yes. And then they also, uh, Christmas cattle shows were big. And, <laughs> okay, let's see my Christmas cow. Yeah, Victorian people <laughs> really wanted to see these cattle that were apparently, like, selected. They did some kind of selective breeding where they're extra big cows. And it was a big deal. Like, oh, my God, the cow's so big. I gotta go see it. I'm a, I'm a big cow. I mean, yeah. Being, being big I'm okay with big cows. I I'm am okay one. with big cows too. <laughs> um, <laughs> there was a thing called going mumping. <laughs> and I know it sounds worse than it probably my is. Mums. My, my mums. mums. <laughs> my lovely lady mumps. My love. And there are ladies that do it. Oh, God. Um, on December 21st, it was, it's considered St. Thomas Day. Um, <laughs> That's Yule. Yes, it is. It's, it's, it's over mid winter solstice however you want to call it um it was uh the first like of the christmas events um at the time toothless beggar women apparently they had to be toothless i don't know i'm mean, probably a lot of them were i don't know they probably they would go were. collect alms and it was called <laughs> mumping going a mumping they're mumping 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 they're not mumping. Hey. Okay. <laughs> go mumping they should be gumping <laughs> Gumping. Good gumping. <laughs> My gooms. My gooms. <laughs> I'm not guilty. The people that say gooms and it, I can't. I can't. <laughs> we knew someone that said gooms. <laughs> My gooms were like, you're what? You're what? My gooms. <laughs> Your gums? Your gooms. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, whatever. If we all say things. Potato, potato. Um, there also was a thing where, this is terrible. <laughs> More terrible? Uh, yeah. It says, the day after Christmas, boys of the village would slaughter a wren with a stick and mount it on a broomstick and march door to door asking for money and food. With a dead bird. With a dead bird. That they beat with a stick. That they beat, they have a and wren. stuck on a stick. Yes. Like, eat the bird. If you're going to kill it, why don't you just eat that? Why Cook don't... it up. Yeah, you, there's your Throw food. Throw it in a stew pot. Pull the feathers off. There you I go. know. But instead they go door to door asking why Why they had to do that. I don't know. And now there's still they a thing. They mean it. They killed the bird. They really mean it. I mean business. You <laughs> yeah. do that food. Uh, you're nuts. <laughs> now there's a thing, I think like a run fest or something that still happens, but they use fake fake uh, like, birds. Well, that's good. Yeah. I don't want them to go out and just murder No, they're not friends. murdering wrens all over the place. Um, you know, we talked about the creepy cards already. They do did a lot of Christmas pantomimes, like like you know, weird, funny but yeah. evil plays and puppetry and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Was it, it like you ever see like if you watch those medieval if you see a medieval movie and they have the people beating each other up the puppets and stuff? It's punch basically and Judy. yeah, Punch and Judy. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking of. It's basically kind of like that, but not but, with puppets. No, there are people and they would. 
They were just mean. You're but pantomiming. They, yeah, they, it was they, it was mean, and, and people thought it was funny because they had a morbid. They were morbid. They had a morbid sense of humor. Um, then they would play a lot of parlor games, and, and like the one I talked about, the Snapdragon. It's not. It's dangerous. I mean, how was people back then watching pantomimes any different than people nowadays watching Die Hard at Christmas time? It's true. It's true. Pantomime. It's true. It's technically got Christmas in it. It does have Christmas in it. Christmas people movie. say it's a Christmas movie. Yeah. Same idea. I've never watched Die Hard. I've seen it once. But it's not. I mean, I get it's a classic, but I don't. No, it's, it's just not that, my thing. It's like the one style of movie I can't really get into. Unless it has an actor in it that I really like. Yeah. Bruce Willis is. Yeah, all right. Bruce Willis. I mean. He's fine. He's okay. I don't know. D- Danny Glover, cool dude. Cool dude too, but not his son's wicked cool. Of his son. Who's his son? He is. Uh, was he? He's a rapper, but he's uh, he was in um, he was in uh uh, Closer. Sh- huh? Closer. No, he was in Community. It had Chevy Chase him um. They were at college, community college. It's really funny if you haven't seen Community. It's so funny. I haven't. But he, I guess he left the show because Chevy Chase isn't very nice. I've heard that. Which makes me so sad because I've had the biggest crush on Chevy Chase my whole life. I know. Him and Steve Martin, who... Steve Martin lives up to the legend. He never... He's amazing. ...disappoints. He's wonderful. You know who else I love? Martin Short. Yes. Steve Martin and Martin Short have that new show on Hulu. Have you seen it? I, it's on my it's watch It's so list. funny. Only Murders in the Building. Yes. They are hysterical. They still got it. Martin Short... No one can hold a candle to him. He can't. He is like a legend. He's just a delight. He and is. he is too. Like Cliff, I always say this about. Clifford. Need not, you best, don't need to say anything else. Not the dog. The movie the Clifford, Clifford that has him as a. He places himself, himself as a child and it's hysterical. It is. Like crying. Yes. Laughing. Pee your pants people, laughing. A lot of people know about Clifford. I, it's such a good movie. It's, it's so, so good. But I think it was like Martin Short playing a child. It is so funny. Hysterical. He's almost child size now. I know he's little pint size. It's not. You know who else I love that's just little like that is um, um, Leslie Jordan. Oh my god, that man too. is too precious for this world. I love him so much. I could just watch his he's little in, videos forever. He's in a new show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With what's her face? It's about cats. The cats. The cat cafe one. The, yeah, cat. Yeah. Love that because I love her. And I love him. And I love him. Both of them. Mia Bialik. Thank you. She's a vegan. I have a cookbook. I just say, I have a cookbook. I, when I can't say people's last names, I just go ha ha like Blossom. that and then it works. Yeah. It's blo- she's Blossom forever. Well, and she also was Amy on, which she was fantastic on. Um, Big Bang Theory? Big Bang Theory. Heck yeah. So friggin' good on that. She's, she's actually amazing. a neuroscientist, so. She's a genius. She really is. She really is a genius. See, we got really distracted this episode. That's we okay. We are really, I drank a whole glass of sangria. So, so did I. Very large ones. <laughs> that's for like. Yeah, we were a little. I got like the, the, the attention span of a cat. Right now. <laughs> um, so another thing they play with Blind Man's Bluff, which, you know, you close your eyes and you, you're blindfolded and you're chasing people around, but they do it inside their homes after they had a few libations. And these are like rich people in gigantic mansions. Yeah, and they're running into walls like and getting hurt. Castles. Basically, people got knocked themselves out a bunch because they were drunk running around trying to chase Brain people. Damage. Yeah, and they just fell over. So they, they practice a lot of strange traditions at Christmas time. They like to do charades a lot, too. Yeah, in and probably era. morbid ones because, you know. Yeah. Um, like now there's a lot of Christmas horror and it kind of ties into Krampus stuff where they do horror movies, but they have like evil Santas and that's all based off this stuff What's way the back one, when. The sleigh one. Yeah, I think Santa's it's Santa sleigh? slays, slays, Santa's sleigh, and then there's but he's like killing him. Yes. And it's yeah. not like a sleigh. It's like, a sleigh I'm slaying, yeah. but not slaying is that you're looking. And there's bad Santa. Yeah. Bad Santa's funny though. <laughs> it's a funny movie. Um, so, one thing I just wanted to point out. Do you know the song that says, It's the most wonderful time of the year. I have my finger in my ear, so I can really sing it. There'll be scary ghost stories and Thank tales you. of the glories yeah. of Christmas. That's based off of Christmas scary ghost stories. And it's in that song. And all the times I sing it my whole life, I never, I never, even, I never I thought know. twice and about I was it. I like, wait, it does say that. Yeah. I've seen that song. Scary dose story. Yeah, today. you don't think twice about it because it's just something you sang. But it really is. That's because we were like our ancestors were telling ghost stories. It's Dean Martin. I don't know. 
Anytime I hear a Dean Martin song, I imagine him singing it with a glass of scotch. He probably was. <laughs> probably was. <laughs> He's singing it, slopping around. You know why I like a good Christmas special? I want more Christmas specials where they're in a house. Like in the 50s, they used to do Christmas specials. They're like at a house and there's a fire and they're having a party and their friends are coming over and they're drinking cocktails and the ladies have cocktail dresses on and they're singing by the fire and they're all singing carols and all these famous people are coming. I need more of that. Me too. They don't do that anymore. Do you remember the one that was Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers? Do you remember that one in the 80s? I love Dolly and Kenny. We had that tape on tape cassette. We listened to it a ton. It's so good. With the, the Dolly, Kenny. Kenny singing singing christmas, christmas songs. sings so good yes i remember watching it another show. person too precious for this for all of us is dolly oh she's like a national treasure treasure she's a national treasure Her and um betty, betty white, white mm-hmm. and dolly parton they're like national treasures they should they need to have statues made of them mm-hmm. and we need to leave alms mm-hmm. we don't have to be toothless to do it though mm. no so no. that's the wrap of my victorian ghost stories we, we went on tangents but you got the gist it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it mumbing? Mumping? Mum, mumbing. Mumping. Because they're mumbling. Maybe. But they're no teeth. Uh-huh. 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 I mean, you know, I don't not dissing if you have no teeth, you can't help it. It's true. So, whatever. It is my, ma- my largest fear in my life. I know, I don't ever want that to happen. Because you know, false teeth can't be comfy. Mm-mm. I feel bad for people because it's like, God. I always thought that if I had to, I'd get dental implants. But They're horrible. Yeah, but expensive. really expensive, but because of what I do for a living, I need to use, use electricity. Oh, you wouldn't be able to do I it. I wouldn't be able to use electricity. Anymore. You're galvanized people. Margaret's galvanizing people. I'm using people. galvanic current on yeah. people and she's like, she's like Dr. Frankenstein. I, I shock people's faces into shape. I like it. So that's this week's episode. <laughs> we only went off on about fourteen tangents this time. Those, these are my favorite ones when we do with tangents because I like those. I don't know if everyone likes it, but I enjoy it. So we have fun. And it's our show, so we're going to show it anyway. Um, so, so some of our older friends that have known us for a long time, yeah, they'll, probably they'll, get they'll it appreciate it they'll, maybe more. They mm-hmm. might remember some of the stories we talked yeah. about. But yeah. So if you want to follow us and you want to have more of this content, because you know we're freaking fun you can uh follow us at tiktok and at the facebook and at the youtubes and instagram at the cousins weird and you can share your stories with us tell us some things you want to know soon once the holidays are over we're gonna deep dive and do more deep dive episodes because we have to keep it light right now because we're really busy but when it gets january and we have some special things planned for january some maybe guests to come on and stuff so keep yourselves listening for that but if you have ideas for us send it to the cousins weird at gmail.com. Um, and have a great week, friends. We do have some friends that we did oh. have, like encounters with. Yes. That we weren't sure what happened. Right. I want to say ghostly encounters or supernatural type. Right. Because we have some stories to yes. share with you in real life. We want you to share your real life stories too. That we encountered them with will come on. And mm-hmm. talk about. So, oh, in our link tree, you're going to get our website. You're going to get our merchandise. You're going to get our where you can follow us. Where you can email us, all the link tree in the description of this. So just go to the, click on that, and you don't have to memorize all this stuff. You can support our podcast through buymeacoffee.com um, backslash the cousins weird. Again, that's in there. Five dollars monthly, get cool stuff, or you get just a one time. Card for Christmas. Yes, if you do it in the month of December, even if it's just a one time five dollar donation, buy us a coffee or beer. You can get a Krampus card from us. But we hope you have a fantastic week. Stay freaky. Bye. Bye.